right. As gay fashionista Bruno, we've seen him dressed in silver, in leopard, in wings, in hot pants. In nothing at all, so to see him walk out on Letterman as himself was a shock. Almost more shocking than to see him make Matt Lauer kiss his hand or strip. We're at now! And end up in the lap of Conan O'Brien. But in trying to come up with the oddest couple of all for his movie, Sasha Baron Cohen hit on this. Be a comedian interviewing a terrorist. Mm -hmm. Even if his character doesn't know the difference between hummus and Hamas. It's one thing for Bruno to make a fool out of, say, a talent contest judge or a politician. But to use an alleged terrorist as a comedic foil? That's dicey. It's not that easy to find an actual terrorist. In, fa in fact, your government has been looking for one for about nine years. <laughs> Cohen says his team looked for a few months before finding someone in the occupied West Bank who said, There is a terrorist who lives in my town. And then what Bruno needed was to find someone to protect him, a job nobody wanted. So Cohen says he settled for a guy who once did security for Enrique Iglesias. His main job had been protecting Enrique from flying underwear. <laughs> you know, you know I, I knew if it came to it, this this guy would take a bra for me. <laughs> Cohen's cup runneth over when he finally sat down with a man associated with the El Aqsa Martyrs Brigade. I want to be famous, and I want the best guys in the business to kidnap me. Al Qaeda are so 2001. I don't like. But that wasn't the most awkward part. Can I give you guys a word of advice? Lose the beards because your King Osama looks like a kind of dirty wizard or a homeless Santa. Uh, we all uh, Get out. Get out now. Who's terrorizing who? In that interview, Kinimo, CNN. Al-Qaeda, a 2001. New York. I don't like.